Hey there, and welcome to Jovo Wednesday, episode number four on Dabble Lab. This time we're going to talk about content management and how to use the Jovo IAT Next integration uh, to separate your content from your app's code and logic and also to use it to localize your content to different languages. Let's get started by creating a fresh new Jovo project. Uh, go into your terminal and type in Jovo new and give it a name. We're going to give it a name IAT-N demo. And we will use the simple Hello World project by Jovo and make it work with the I18N integration. And later you can also download a template, uh, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, after the NPM dependencies are installed, go to your project directory and open it in your editor. So for the ones that already know Jovo, um, we typically have a source folder and an app.js file where all the code logic is done. And so if we scroll, so if we scroll down here, you can find that uh, we have a simple hello world intent where we're asking the users for their name and then answer uh, with their name and greet them. So what you can see here is we have the string. So what's returned um, to the user, the hello world, what's your name, for example, we have it right in the code, which makes it difficult to update content, which makes it difficult to use different languages, for example. And so uh, what we can do about that is we can use the Jovo I18N integration, uh, which is powered by I18 Next, which is a popular uh, internationalization and localization library. And so if you take a look at our docs, you can find everything about I18N and we're going to update uh, this project uh, so that it works with I18N to have all the content in one file. And then we, we could even create additional languages, for example. And so uh, what it looks like here is we, uh, it seems like we first have to uh, create an I18N folder and, uh, and then create a file in us.json if we want to use that with a uh, us english locales and so let's let's do that create a new folder i18n and then create a new file in us.json and then this, these files usually have to look like this and so by naming the file enus it's all it already works um, with the tight integration we we offer in jovo and so um, we can just copy that and so here you can see a few things how how it could look like and we're gonna rename it okay so here's usually um, how these translation files look like and we can just go ahead by by copying the content here and so what what I like to do is I like to have that grouped by uh, by objects and so we can have welcome and then speech and have the, the speech response added here and then for the reprompt use this and similar for the creating as well we could although it's just one but maybe this gets updated later so just to keep it organized we're just going to use this. And so now what's different is we can't really use this this.inputs.name value. Um, what we can do is we can do something like this. Just use two curly brackets to, to show that it's a variable that's, that needs to be passed. Okay, and so we have this file ready and now we need to call that. And we can call that by using the this.t method. And so we can do use that this.t and give it and pass the key welcome.speech. And the same for the reprompt. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So this looks for the welcome.speech and the welcome.reprompt so for these two things, and this should work. And for the my name is intent, there's a one more thing we need to do. We need to pass some additional variables, and we can just pass the name here. And that should work as well. And of course, we have to rename this to creating.speech. Okay, so that's it. This is how it looks like. And for testing it, let's uh, let's do that in our Jovo debugger. So go back to your terminal, type in Jovo run. 
open it in your browser launch so it asks me for my name and if i now respond with a name for example chris it says hey chris nice to meet you okay so that's it this is how a simple hello world project with i18n and the enus file looks like and so as you can see here now it's way easier for people um, content managers product managers other coders you're working with it's way easier for them now to to update the content to see where to update it it's pretty helpful to have all the content in one place and later we could even do that and create a new file create a dede file for german um, translations for example and so um, all of this is pretty helpful if you want to manage your content uh, more effectively. And if that's not enough, if you still don't want to up upload your code, you can also take a look at the Jovo uh, content management integration. So down here, for example, we offer a Google Sheets integration. Uh, this way it allows you to, uh, to manage your content in the same way that we did it in this i18n file. It allows you to manage that in a Google spreadsheet. And so and I will show you more about this in a later episode as well. And so for now, have fun with this Jovo i18n integration. You can download the code um, from our i18n um, template, which we can, you can download by using the Jovo new command. Again, specify a project name and then dash dash template i18n. Have fun. See you next time.